Tinkercad tip. I had a follower ask me about making shapes that were bent tubes or bent pipes. And in my prior two videos, I covered two different methods for this. One using a special shape called SVG Revolver. I had another one using a shape generator called Bent Pipe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a method called Wave Duplication. So we'll use a simple pipe shape. And again, I have this shape here. It's 10 by 10. Oh, let's make it 10 here. And I have this set to be 0.5 millimeters high. Down here on the snap grid, I've set this to be 0.1 millimeters. What I'm going to do is select this shape. I'm going to duplicate it. And holding the control key, I'm going to hit the up shift or cursor up key twice. And then I'm going to change my angle here. Let's make it just one degree. So you can see where this duplicated shape now has tilted one degree. And if I begin hitting duplicate or control D, you can see where my shape begins to take take form. And I continue that to the angle that I wanted. Now while doing this and while still having that shape selected, I could come in here and I could change the angle back again. Let's change it to two degrees this direction. And continue hitting Control D or Duplicate. You can see where it begins turning back the other direction. And if I continue, it'll work its way around. This can be done with any shape. For instance, this hollow hexagon here. I could duplicate that using control cursor up twice to be 0.2 millimeters. I'll put a slight angle in it. We'll make that one degree and begin hitting control D. I could change that angle back again. Duplicate that. Continue hitting Control D and see how it changes our shape. That's called wave duplication, but it's a form of making bent tubes. And in my next video, I'll show some more advanced methods for wave duplication.